in an extreme ammo shortage like right now at the end of 2020, not only finished ammunition but reloading components can be hard to find. In particular, right now small pistol primers are essentially non-existent. So the question came up, is it okay to substitute small pistol magnum primers into standard loads? Under normal circumstances, the short answer would be no, you need to stick to the reloading data in the reference manuals exactly as they are written. Referring to the Hornady Reloading Manual, Edition 10, published in 2016, it says on page 37, quote, Under no circumstances should one switch to a magnum primer with a load developed with a standard primer. I also consulted with several expert reloaders, and they said that it is possible, and it's not dangerous, to substitute a magnum small pistol primer for a standard small pistol primer if you reduce the the charge slightly. So I did an experiment summarized by this table in which I compared seven shots with loads using standard primers with seven shots in loads using magnum primers. I compared the two 9mm Luger samples in terms of bullet velocity as well as the other items listed here. This slide provides more details about my methods. See what happens. I've never done this before. I didn't notice any difference. Here's all the velocities, and you can see that on average the magnum loads actually had a slightly lower velocity. This table summarizes other observations. Comparing the two samples, standard versus magnum, I really couldn't tell any difference when I was firing those cartridges. One minor difference was that brass ejection was a little different, with the magnum primers ejecting at about 3 o'clock, that's pretty much straight out to the right, while the standard primers ejected a little bit more to the back at about 4 o'clock. So to summarize, for the magnum primers, I reduced my powder charge by about 2 tenths of a grain. The magnum velocities actually were slightly slower, about 20 feet per second slower. Magnum ejection angles were slightly less, and both of those two things might suggest that my magnum loads actually had a little bit lower chamber pressure than the standard loads. Again, the Hornady Reloading Manual says, under no circumstances should one switch to a magnum primer with a load developed with a standard primer. So I'm not recommending that anyone do this, rather, in response to a question from one of my reloading students, I studied the references, consulted with experts, and decided to test it myself under controlled conditions. You must understand the principles of safe reloading and, as much as possible, follow the specifications given in published reloading references. If you depart from published standards, it's your responsibility to understand and accept the risks. Thank you for watching. I hope it was interesting and maybe useful to you, and if it was, please hit the like button and feel free to comment or subscribe.